What you guys got another video here for you now if you're receiving the fixed installation failed in the first boot phase error and there could be a code on there and there's a few different codes that it will be uh, this is normally due to when you're um, upgrading to Windows 10 or upgrading with the latest update uh, which Microsoft has just released so if you are receiving this then I'm going to show you some steps that you can take to try and rectify uh, this problem so first off, let's go down uh, to uh, the bottom right hand corner here. Now if you are running an antivirus program or anything like that, you want to disable that uh, during the installation process because uh, this can interfere with the update. So you can right click on here. We want to disable actual antivirus program for a little while here. So go up to where it says uh, disable here. You can see it at Shields control. So you just go for the period of time that you think uh, that it's going to take. So I'm just going to do it permanently and then we can always uh, do this a little bit later on and put it back on. So now it's been disabled. You can see here we have a red cross. We are unprotected. That's fine. Uh, but that's the first step that you want to take. Now, if you're running a separate uh, vi a firewall or something like that, that is the next uh, step that you want to take. But if you've got a built-in Windows firewall, you want to disable that just in case there's any problems. And you can do that by going to Control Panel, just like so. Type in Control Panel here, open up the Control Panel. And uh, from here, just going to go to where it says uh, System and Security and Windows Defender Firewall. Inside here, you can see here, turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. We're just gonna turn this off temporarily until we've got our update done. And sometimes this can uh, resolve the issue. Now also any, so what you wanna do next is unplug any USB peripherals apart from your mouse and keyboard that's plugged into your computer. This is important because these can conflict uh, with your update and cause problems so just temporarily unplug any printers cameras webcams anything like that microphones that you don't need uh, temporarily uh, just unplug them and then try your windows update and hopefully uh, this will resolve your issue you can plug them back in once the update is completed so once you've done that you can now restart your computer and then once you've restarted your computer uh, you want to try the Windows Update, okay? So you want to go back into here and try your Windows Update. Now sometimes this rectifies the problem, so you can go back into here. And you can see here we've got some uh, updates. And you can just go to Windows Update and run your Windows Update. Next up, you can try uh, to use the Microsoft Windows Update uh, Fix It tool. This will try to fix any sort of Windows Update issues. And you can see here all the error codes that it covers. It covers quite a few error codes and you want to run this on your system uh, to try to rectify any problems, okay? If you come down here, you will see uh, Windows 10 and you just go through uh, this uh, troubleshooter, okay? And uh, basically you wanna download this I'll leave the link in the video description for you. I'm going to open this up and we're going to let that run. I'm going to go next here. And just let it try and detect any problems that you may be having uh, with your Windows update, okay? I'm just going to try this again as administrator because that's what it wants me to do. So just push run as administrator and go through the same process. Now this test will take a bit of time so just be patient and let it run through its uh, diagnostic tests. Okay so moving on to uh, the next thing that you can try is going into msconfig here. So go down to the search and type msconfig like so and then open up the system configuration uh, tool here so we're going to just open this up and what we want to do here is we want to go to a selective uh, startup here and we want to remove the tick from load startup items next up we want to go to the services tab here we want to put a tick in hide all microsoft services 
And what this is going to do is perform a clean boot on the system and uh, this will remove any sort of third party software that could be conflicting uh, with uh, the actual Windows update process. So once you've done that you want to disable all and this will disable all the ones which are causing an issue here which could be of antivirus programs and stuff like that. Okay. So next up we can go to the startup tab and look inside here. I'm just going to bring this back over and any sort of issues that you may be having with stuff here so Windows Defender here you can see so I'm going to disable these and disable just disable everything that you need to disable I need to have uh, guest editions running and then once we've done that we can reboot the system and uh, we can do a clean boot and hopefully uh, with that done uh, we will be then able to uh, run the Windows update. So we just close this off and you can see here we could go into uh, safe mode here but we're just going to leave that as is and now we can uh, reboot the system. So what we're going to do here is click apply and OK and close that off and restart and we'll just let this load in and uh, once we've done this we can then go back into Windows Update and try to update our system to see whether that resolves the issue there we go so we're back here now so we're just going to let everything load in now what you want to do now is you want to go to your settings and then go back into your update and security and try to update uh, Windows updates from here now. Now you can see the uh, updates are starting to download. They're starting to download here as you can see in installing and that means that's worked out. Now once you've finished uh, having all your downloads installed and updated you can then go back into MS config once it's all completed and reverse uh, the cycle basically so go back in here and go back to normal startup you can see here we we've still got a uh, load startup items so just go to normal startup and uh, re-enable your startup items which you want to re-enable once we've got the update done we can reverse these okay and that's pretty much it yep that's that process done that's what we call a clean boot and sometimes that resolves a lot of issues so just follow through and uh, reverse what you did earlier on okay so another thing that you can do is check your uh, drive to make sure the drive has plenty of space left on it now normally around about I would say a good 25 gigabytes of space to 30 gigabytes is good to have okay now if you don't have around that space available to you then you're going to run into problems okay what's going to happen is it's going to try to update and uh, it's it's going to cause an error and you're going to end up saying it can't install uh, the update you run out of space and stuff like that so make sure you've got plenty of space available uh, before you try to do any sort of windows update okay uh, before it rolls uh, that update out and the way you can do that is take a look at your drive. Now if your drive looks something like this, uh, then you have got no space and you will be running into problems. So you need to start backing up your drive and uh, make sure that uh, that is in the blue and that you have a free space available of at least 30 gigabytes, I would say. Uh, some sometimes you can get away with 20 uh, but that's really sort of pushing it give yourself plenty of space and that way you won't run into any issues okay okay next up what we're going to do here is open up our command prompt with admin so we can't get it from there so I'm just going to go cmd and uh, we're going to right click and run this as administrator Now from here what you want to do is go net stop w u a u s and then e r v 
push that and let that stop. So I'll speed this process up. All you need to do is type in the commands you can see in the purple box down below and push enter after each time you add one of those in and that will stop those services from running temporarily. And uh, that should then stop those services from running. Okay, next what we're gonna do is rename our software distribution folder. This is where your downloads for your updates will go and it's listed inside your C directory, Windows, and inside here, uh, you'll see software distribution in here. And this is where all your updates are gonna go inside here and you can see it here. It's, so it's a fair size, but we're gonna, that may get corrupted in some way, shape or form. So we're just, uh, now we've stopped all those, we're gonna rename that software distribution dot old. That's now done. Okay, so next up we need to rename the cat root 2 folder, which is in your system 32 directory. So I'm just going to quickly paste in uh, the path there. We'll leave the links for these in the video description so you can just copy and paste like I'm doing here. And uh, the cat root 2 dot uh, old, you can see we've got access denied here and I've been talking a fair bit. So them services have probably restarted. So you need to make sure that the services are stopped. Now to get rid of that access denied, just go through the motions and restop those services here like I'm doing. I'll try again and you can see I'll get access denied. And uh, what I'm going to do here is try one more service here to stop because obviously it's restarted itself. And I will try this one and you can see it's now stopping. So it did restart. And uh, we should now be okay to run uh, the command to rename the cat root to uh, folder to dot old. So now that should go through nicely. There we go. That has now renamed that. So all we need to do now is uh, restart those services. And uh, we can do that by just typing in a few uh, commands here. And uh, these will be the start command. So it will be uh, net start this time instead of net stop. OK, so we'll just go through and do those commands. I'll post them on the screen so you can see them. So let's go ahead and uh, clear the screen by typing CLS. And we can now go ahead and restart all these services one by one and push enter. OK. So I'll quickly uh, speed this process up here, not to bore you to tears, but basically you just have to do net start the commands that I showed you below and you should be OK. OK, so they're all restarted now and uh, we can close this off. And we need to reboot our system uh, and this will then recreate those folders for us. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. And uh, you can try your Windows update and see whether that uh, works. Hopefully uh, that rectifies your problem. Now, if it doesn't, then we can try another thing here. So what we're going to do here is go to the registry editor by typing reg edit inside the search box here and open up the registry editor. So what we want to do here is go to H key local machine and we go to software, Microsoft, Windows, come down. Uh, current version here so you can see that then we just pull that open so you can see that current version and in Windows update come down a bit more here there we go and uh, what we're looking for here is a folder called OS upgrade so we need to uh, create that folder because it's not here so what we're going to do here is right click on here and go new and key and in that new key we're going to call this OS upgrade and uh, hit enter now on the right hand pane here what we want to do is type a new D word 32 bit value and inside here we want to go allow OS 
upgrade. Just like so. Double click on this one and uh, make this one. And click OK. And then what we can do here now, now we've got that one in there, what we can do is close this off. And uh, we can then try the, our Windows updates. OK, uh, let's uh, just try, try one last thing here. Now, if you're still having issues and you can't get this to work and it's still having problems, uh, then you want to try to run SFC scan now. And also you can also do the other command, which is the restore health. Uh, the DISM. I'll show you that quickly now. So what you want to do if you're still having issues, you want to open up command prompt. So we're going to go to CMD here, right click and run this as administrator. Inside here, what you want to do is do SFC space forward slash scan now and let that run. OK, and this will hopefully try to fix any sort of problems uh, with your Windows files and stuff like that. And if you have got problems with them, this will rectify it. And then you can try to update uh, Windows. And uh, if that didn't work and, and it fixed all your problems, then you want to try the DISM online cleanup image restore health command, as you can see here. Try and run that, and hopefully this will fix any problems. And then try your Windows update. And hopefully that should be uh, fixing your problems okay now there is also uh, some other things that you can try but i think at this stage you should be back up and running and you should be able to update uh, to the latest version of uh, windows 10 and i uh, hope this one helps you out just let this run this will take a bit of time but just let this run okay and then you can always try uh, to update windows again anyway i think this has been a quite a long video so i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this one helps you out uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great bank holiday weekend, and I shall see you again for another video uh, real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.